Hi, and welcome to the CM 10.1 review of the Dell Streak 7. And as you see, it's here. I've got a nice loom, so I'm going to go ahead and power it up. you got to kind of press and hold the power button. It's just one of the quirks of the Dell Streak 7. And you'll see the buttons are lighting up. It's powering on. You can see the Dell logo. And my want to thank uh, DJ Steve for teaching me and also Dur Artem for taking my work and finishing up and getting a CM 10.1. He took my work and pretty much got me to the point where the device is working really well and he continues to work on it with me and help me uh, finish it up. I basically give him advice and he's way better than I am so he's getting us a lot further than I expected. Alright, so here we are at the lock screen. I'm going to go ahead and turn this around so we can see this a little bit better here. And you can tell, audio works. So, screen powered off. So there we go. Go ahead and adjust the camera a bit here. Let's go ahead and get out the lock screen. As you can see, it's quite nice. So, let's see if I get the camera at a good angle for us. Alright, and we're going to go ahead and press start. As you can see, yeah, not too much lag. I mean, I notice a little bit, but I kind of look for those things. So let's go ahead and go to settings. As you can see, is Wi-Fi is on. I'm actually connected to my college's uh, network here. I'm going to go ahead and press the back. You can see capacitive buttons work. It takes me back. Let's look at Bluetooth. Bluetooth turns on. It recognizes that as a Dell Streak 7. And it's searching right now, but I'm going to go ahead and turn it off because I don't have any Bluetooth devices. Now let's go ahead and go to, uh, scroll down here a bit. Let's go to sound. Go ahead and uh, go down here a bit. As you can see, it's uh, pretty much recognized. Let's just test the volumes out. So you can see those work. Nothing. Really loud. working quite nice. So, volumes work really well. Let's go ahead and go to display. So you can see right now I've got it on max brightness, but auto brightness works as well. And I'll go ahead and turn it back off there, just so we can actually see what's going on here. So you can see right there, they got it maxed up the top. Let's go ahead and hit it back back. You know, actually one thing I haven't tried yet was actually the daydream stuff. Let's go ahead and see if that actually works here. So let's go like that. And let's try start now and just see what happens here. Uh, no photos display. I guess I don't have any photos. So let's try colors. Let's start now. now. As you can see that's actually working. So let's go ahead and go up. I actually haven't tried that yet. So let's go ahead and look at storage. It is showing the full amount up here at the top, which is showing 13.29 uh, gigabytes. So you can see it's got everything recognized. It's got the SD card recognized. And I actually put in a spot for USB storage. I actually really haven't tried it yet. I just put it in as a base for future work. I know some people want to use uh, USB drives. And then we have battery. You know, it's showing battery statistics, and I haven't tested the battery yet. That'll be one of my next things I do, just to see if uh, how fast it drains battery, see if I need to mess with the uh, power profiles, see if anything else is draining battery. Apps, I've got a few apps installed here. As you actually can't really see it down here in the corner, but it says I've used 395 megabytes out of my 13 for apps. And I've got some download here that I'll just, you know, demonstrate and show you. And now, we've actually put in the support for um, users. I really haven't done this yet. So, you can give it a try if you want. I really don't care. And location, GPS is enabled. And I'll show you that a little bit later here. And one thing that is not working yet is the microphone. It could be a media profile. It could also be a mixer path. We're going to take a look at it. 
Uh, let's see here. Developer options. Let's see, I've got a ADB install. I'm going right now. Now I'm getting some reports that super users being a little bit difficult. I'm going to take a look at that as well. Performance, yeah, yeah. I do have uh, overclocking available in this. So you can see, uh, it goes all the way up. I really recommend not going too high, just because you don't want to fry anything or overheat anything. And let's go back. So you have about. As you can see, it's got all the information. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, check out some maps here. Let's go ahead and start off with a GPS test. I don't know how well I'm going to get a signal because I'm actually inside of a uh, brick building. But let's go ahead and give this a try and see if we can get any signal. I really doubt I'm going to get any signal in here. Yeah, probably not going to happen. All right, just going to have to take my word that GPS works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you for you. All right. Let's go ahead and try, uh, let's say, a little bit of a game. This is uh, Fruit Ninja THD, which is designed for uh, Tegra devices, so a little bit better graphics than normal. So let's go ahead and see. Oh, I had a game actually going here. I was testing it out before we start. So let's retry. See, the graphics are quite well handling it. No really lagging games. So that's working really well. Let's go ahead and go to the home button there. Let's go back to lens here. Let's see what else I have. I don't want to. I have another game here to test out, but I really don't want to use it just because it'll give us problems. So let's go ahead and try audio player. Let's see if I have any. Oh look, I have a weird out sound album. So let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. So you can see audio is working, music player is playing. Let's go ahead and stop that. Dismiss all the notifications. Let's go back to home. Go back to here. And let's go ahead and look at the video player. Now, I tend to use MX player for my video. We'll take a look at the stock video player maybe in a little bit. So, I got a few videos on here loaded. We're going to go ahead and start with 480p. Just a little matrix trailer. Uh, so, it actually plays quite well on uh, 480p. You really shouldn't see any lag at all. I do have a uh, software encoder loaded so it can access Tegra better. But you can see really no lag whatsoever on the 480p. So let's go ahead and go back and let's go ahead and try uh, 720p. This, I expect a little bit of lag here. This is a Serenity trailer. I really like Serenity. And I like the Firefly. As you can see, it's got a little bit of lag at the beginning, and then it kind of smooths out, but it's still laggy. But I really wouldn't watch 720p on this, just because the resolution really doesn't look good. It's just standard definition works great, and save space. So let's go ahead and look at 1080p. I really expect lag to happen on this. But you can see, at least it's loading it, but the video rendering is not really that great. Yeah, it's just... Resolution's horrible. It's not loading it very quickly. And I expected that with 1080p. So let's go ahead and exit out of that. Let's see, what else can we test here? Uh, let's see here. Uh, G apps, you know, my email. Can uh, look on the Play Store. I do have this installed. All right, see, there you go, you know, blah, blah. So, that is that part. So we're going to go ahead and go to the home screen here and see. It's pretty smooth. I've actually been getting some reports of lag, and I've kind of experienced it myself. I'm still taking a look at what's going on with that. I'm going to go ahead and power it off here. The reboot to recovery is not working yet. I'm going to take a look at that and hopefully in the future actually have a reboot to recovery that actually works. I'm going to attempt to hold the camera here and show you uh, TWRP. Hopefully my camera doesn't fall here. So let's go ahead and see. I press the plus and the power. Let's hold it down here. 
I actually have my coffee holding my uh, camera on the right spot for me, and I don't coffee to drop. All right, so just so people know, you can see here we're at the menu here. We're going to go down to the section option as a software upgrade. You actually, that is actually the recovery mode. It's just one of Dell's quirks. They wanted to use a special way. So there we have Team Win. You know, thank them for their hard work on their recovery. So we have it right here. It is fully working now. To uh, install apps, the G app special you need to go mount, and then use internal storage. Make sure that's selected. Then you go back. And you go to install, and there's my G app packs for all the different Android versions I run on this to test. And you would just select it and wipe it. See, it does work. And the logs work. And there's all little, you know, tweaks that you can do in here that I really haven't messed with yet, just because I've been trying to get this working first. The different wipes, I'm pretty sure most of them work. I really haven't given them all a try, just because I don't really want to wipe my system. As you can see, that actually works. And I'm going to go ahead and reboot. I'm going to go ahead and reboot Android. And it's going here, just taking its sweet time with that. It's actually a really quick boot. It's just this, the beginning logo, the RLE, that's a little slow. Go ahead and go ahead and count here, and you see the booting up happening. I apologize about this long review. I just wanted to go through all the different stuff and all the hard work that Der Artem and I have been doing. I really do want to thank all the donators who has helped me get a new processor and fix my computer up so that I can actually develop a lot faster. And here we go. We're at the back to Android 4.2, CM 10.1. And I just want to thank you all for uh, taking the time to watch this video.